If you are shooting a black powder gun, then be prepared that after each and every single shooting session you will have to clean it. Although the residue of the black powder itself is not corrosive, if it absorbs the moisture from the air, it will become corrosive, which means we have to clean it after every single shooting session, as I told you. It's important because uh, if you don't do it, you will soon ruin your barrel. My process of cleaning the gun is easy and quick. I'm always shooting black powder guns, which means I have to save time on cleaning them. So let me show you how I do it. First, let me show you the tools you will need. So first of all, you will have to get a good black powder gun. If you don't have a black powder gun, then this video is meaningless for you. So don't do it. Get a black powder gun. Second, you will have to get a brass brush. This is a brass brush. This is a battle-worn brass brush, but it will still work. Third, you will need jags fitting your bore. This jag is for pulling the patch inside and outside from your bore. You will have to get some paste for the threads of the nipple. This is copper paste, what I have here, but this can be replaced with PTFE tape as well. You will have to get some clean uh, cleaning patches. This is something that I cut from normal kitchen towels. You will have to get a nipple wrench and a good quality screwdriver that fits your screws. It is very important because you can ruin your screws easily. And of course you will need some rags, like this, soft rags from old clothes. And of course you will need good quality gun oil. Now, this oil does the same as WD-40 does, so it gets under the moisture, under the water, which helps you to dry your bore, and of course it will prevent rust. Now, why I use Brunox is simple, because it gives you a good layer of oil, a good film of oil on the bore and all the metal surfaces, which will prevent rust for a long period of time. So this is a good quality stuff. And of course you will have to get a bottle of hot water, plain hot water. Nothing in it, no solvent, no stuff like that, you don't need that actually. The process starts with removing the bore from the stock, which is quite easy because this has a patent breech plug. So what I do is just remove the ramrod, put it aside, and I have a wedge here that has to be pu pushed out. If you cannot do this by your hand, then always use a brass wedge remover, don't ruin it. Now when it is removed, we can easily, safely get it out from the stock. Now the bore is ready to be disassembled, well, screwing out the nipples. Get a good quality screwdriver. This is from hard steel. This is probably the best you can get on the market. It's made by Pedersoli and remove your nipples. If you applied PTFE tape on your threads or copper paste as I do, then it will be an easy job. And that's it. We can now just drop them into the hot water. And now we start the fun part. We are going to clean the bore. Put the breech in the hot water. So grab the muzzle with the rag and put your brass brush into one of the tubes using a nylon muzzle protector. This is important because this will save your, save your muzzle crown. This is plastic, it will save your muzzle crown. It is very cheap and very good to have. And now start cleaning your bore. This will remove a large portion of the black powder residue. And also the lead deposit will pass away. And I can already see that the water is getting very, very dirty. Just look at how dirty the water is already. And when you feel you are done with one of the bores, you start cleaning the other one. With the same fashion, of course. And if you use really hot water, then the barrel will get hot. This is important because it will help you to dry the bore. So this is why I'm using this rag on the muzzle. Let's start with the cleaning patches. It is important to have a tight combo because we are using it as a water pump. The patch is so tight that it actually sucks the water up and pushes it down which means that we get a fully, beautifully clean bore at the end. 
and we can I can feel that the water as it moves up the bore and I want to push it down it has some pressure on it <laughs> and the water is already completely black uh -huh. and there's always some water that passes the patch which means that you can easily make the house very very dirty so if you're doing this in the kitchen or in the bathroom then be prepared that your wife will kill you simply kill you let's get to the other bore we don't need that anymore And this is completely cleaning the bottom of the breech, which is very important because if you have some residue accumulating at the, at the breech where the touch hole is, it can cause you a misfire if you don't clean your gun properly. So with this solution, you will get a completely clean breech. So now the bore is clear, we can remove it from the water tank and we can start drying it. We start with blowing the excess water out from the war. And let's start drying it. Now the barrel is really hot, which means that uh, it will help the water to evaporate. It will have to dry the bore, which is a great help. We start with wiping the surface. And now we are going to run some dry patches through the bore. After three, four patches, the bore is clean enough, it's ready for oiling. Let's do the same with the other one. It does not really matter if you have a few stain spots on your cleaning patch at the end. If your bore is dry, then you will be okay. Don't, just don't worry about that little bit of, uh, of residue in the bore. Just give it a light coat of oil and this is what we are going to do now. And now give a light coat of oil to the surface as well, just to preserve the beautiful finish and to give another 150 years for this beautiful hunting arm made in England somewhere in the 19th century. And there you go. There you go. It's ready. Now it's time to retrieve your nipples from the water. There they are. Cleaning the nipples is quite easy. Just need some rag. Clean the threads from the residue of the previous copper paste. The surface. Check if the flash hole is clean and good. And blow the water out from the touch hole. And there you go. It's ready. It's ready. If you have steel nipples, then apply oil to the surface, but only to the surface. Don't ever put oil into the touch hole 
because you are going to get a misfire at the next shooting session and it's ready now we are going to apply some copper pa paste on the threads to save it from stacking into the breech plug if you don't have the copper paste you can also use a PTFE tape, tape to cover the threads that does the same thing that's one and that's two now it's time to reinstall them You don't have to tighten the nipples too much, just let it go into this place and give it just a little pressure. The threads will hold it in, not your force. And there you go, your bore is ready. Your stock and locks will also need some cleaning, but I don't always remove the locks for cleaning, especially on original guns because you don't have to. What you have to do is to check if the screws are in place, especially the two screws that are holding the bridle behind the hammer. They have to be in place. If not, then remove the lock and, uh, and uh, just screw in the screws. Of course, you will have to check the tank screw as well. It has to hold the, the, the breech piece tight. And of course, on the other side as well, you have to check the lock. But otherwise, it is just enough to to wrap the lock parts, the outer surface with a little rag saturated with oil and that will do the job. That will just do the job. Just to prevent rust. You don't have to do anything else. Just to remove the black powder and percussion cap residue and then you're okay. And do it with all the metal parts. The butt stock as well. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. And these modern gun oils are also good for the wood as well. So just instead of washing it with water, you can always rub it with the same piece of little oil saturated rag. And the gun is ready to be reassembled. And the reassembly is easy as a piece of cake. Just put the barrel back in place. Be careful. Do not leave a gap between the breech piece and the breech block and just reinsert the wedge with your hands. It has to go in place real, real smooth. And now just put the ramrod back in place. And your beautiful British shotgun is ready for the next session. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching the Cap Ambo YouTube channel. If you wish to support me, you can do it through Patreon, but you can also buy your authentic American Civil War cartridge boxes and percussion revolver cartridge formers. You can also buy your US Arsenal Stadias or 19th century rangefinders, but you can also find on our eBay store or on our webpage or rubber printing place for US Arsenal cartridge bundles in a good collection. So ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay cool and keep your powder dry.